I'm excited for the girls that are on the team. Um, I know it's the most competitive team in the world, and I know I could have gotten either way. Or maybe on the team, maybe not being on the team. So, um, you know, I'm excited for them. Um, going to bring them on to, to win gold. Um, I, I was a kid that grew up uh, watching the Olympics. So, um, yeah, it'll be, it'll be fun to watch them. What was your level of disappointment not having your name on the roster? Honestly, no disappointment. Like, I think it just gives you something, something to work for. Um, you know, that's a dream. You know, hopefully one day I can be there. And, uh, it's just a little more motivation uh, and you remember that and, um, and hopefully in four years, when four years comes back around, you know, I can be there. Did you have a great conversation with the managing director of the over there at USA Beaver Yeah, they, yeah, they called me and, and let me know and, uh, before everything came out, which was, you know, really respectful of them and I appreciated that and they did the same for every girl that made the team or every girl that um, didn't make the team. There was a lot of players in the, in the Olympic pool, so... Uh, it wasn't like I was the only one they had to call. They had to make quite a few calls. Are you looking forward to a break, you know, from Olympic action, basketball <laughs> yeah, in general, I guess? Absolutely. I mean, it's going to be really nice. I mean, I've loved competing every single second, but it's going to be a, a great month for my body to, you know, first of all, like, get rest and get healthy and just get time, a little time away from basketball and the craziness of everything that's been going on and, um, you know, just find some peace and quiet for myself. Um, but then additionally, like, a great opportunity for us to work and get better, a great opportunity for myself to get in the weight room, um, to work on the court and work at things that I want to get better at that I maybe didn't have time going from college to the pro season. Um, so I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Um, but at the same time, like, we still have a, a month of games where we have a lot of opportunities to win a lot of games. So that's where my main focus is. What was it like to kind of prepare for Team USA? Like, you were in Cleveland when you were hosting the camp, but, like, obviously you had other things in your mind. I think kind of was a big deal. So what was it like trying to balance, like, I want this opportunity, but this other opportunity is right in front of me? Yeah, I don't think there was, like, a, a preparation. It was more like just go about my business how I have my entire career. And, you know, if that's the opportunity I get, great. If I don't get that opportunity, you know, there's still a lot of positives. And, the time that I'm going to have off, um, you know, the opportunity to be motivated to hopefully achieve that at some point in my career. And, um, but yeah, I mean, I think, you know, a lot of my focus was on my college season. I didn't have time to go to a, a training camp and um, then obviously it was a quick turnaround to come here. So um, yeah, I think it's, you know, it's just a good good motivation for us. And then we all know how talented that team is. Like you look at that roster and a lot of players I've already had the opportunity to play in this league that are just so good. And, you know, I, I know they're going to go out there and dominate and I'm going to be watching and cheering for them. So um, it'll be a lot of fun. Have you heard from anyone that stood out from you about that? Decision? Meaning like an NBA player or anything like that? Or someone you're fifth there? We're talking about a lot of ifs here. I know you just said you would like that rest, but if there is a player on that roster that's too injured to play and they call you, what would your reaction be? Yeah, I think it would be a great opportunity. Um, a lot of ifs. So, like, you know, my main focus is on the fever. Like, that's what it is. If USA Basketball needs something, you know, I have a great relationship with them. Um, but um, the 12 they have selected are, are really, really great players. So I think they're in pretty good hands. A great coach, a great coach. Like, they did a really good job. So, um, yeah, just, just focus on the fever and what we can do to be better. Coming off your last game, I know you got a lot of shots up in the gym this last week and then had the yeah. game that you did. How necessary it was for you to kind of feel, feel that? Yeah, it was it was really nice, and I think just getting back and getting some work in, but also the rest was huge. I felt like my legs were under me a little bit more. Um, felt like I was missing short quite a bit before that, so um, I think it shows what rest can do for your body. But also, I think it was just like a good kind of breakout game to kind of get some more confidence in my shot. I don't think I had shot it really all that great. A lot of you know had some good looks that I just had missed. So um, it was nice to see quite a few go down, and you know hopefully we can continue to build a few on that and. You know, obviously across the board, we shot the ball well, 16 made threes. I think we kind of settled a little too much. I thought we could cut our feet in the paint a little bit more, but um, overall, we did shoot the ball pretty well. How do you That's use that more. confidence and use it? Or what gives you confidence that you can go up to Connecticut tomorrow and build and start stacking wins? Yeah, I think we, we go into every game confident that we're going to win. You know, that's the mentality of this team. We're young. We have a great energy about ourselves. We come into practice and we work hard every single day. Um, and if you don't have that mentality going into a game that you're going to win, like you're, you're just not going to win. That's that's problem number one. So I don't think that's that's a problem at all. We're going to go in there confident and give it everything, everything we have. A bit of a Last one question, but I've been curious about this. What is your relationship like with Bree, the photographer? Yeah, Bree's yeah, amazing. Yeah. I think. Uh, I mean, first of all, her, her pictures are absolutely incredible. Um, but she's been a supporter of women's basketball for a really long time before I came around. So um, somebody that just, you know, is always there rooting on, you know, multiple players throughout this league. 
played for a lot of college teams, um, and then you know getting to know her over the course of last year has been awesome. She's taken some amazing pictures and, and captured some amazing memories, not only for myself, my family, a lot of my teammates, a lot of other teams, a lot of other players. So uh, you know she's awesome. Being year after year to so many different versions of your team, being, uh, being the best you be here. I got superpowers. <laughs> That's how. I got superpowers. I just, I run the side of man, being who I am, I'm never going to change that for nobody. Uh, I like to think that my game is going to develop based on what I see in front of me. So I always room for improvement. Uh, ways around the room, being the government around the room, pushing way up since my next maturation right now. So I'm always finding different stuff to work on. Um, so it's always going to be an easier transition than people think because I like to hoop. So when you hoop and you can hoop for anybody. I was going to ask you about that maturation process. How much is the imagination a part of it? Like just seeing stuff or thinking, like, okay, maybe I can try this next yeah. time or two times. I think people watch sport because they're reading and reacting. Like being able to read and react and make plays based on what you see and the teams you play and based on how they defend you, how they read you, et cetera. I think that all plays a part of basketball. And I think that not having imagination is scary in basketball because if you don't, you never know what to prepare for. Because, it's, you know, the game is, you never know what to prepare for. That's how the game is. Kelsey, how did that break and then the win in D.C. really help you guys build some confidence and get your feet under you heading into Connecticut tomorrow? Oh, uh, hopefully it's a good momentum for... Uh, for us, uh, can't foresee the future about tomorrow, but I think we, we can be prepared based on how we practice and how our game went. That's the idea. That's the purpose. What can you build off of from D.C. that will help you tomorrow? Oh, man, I think uh, our ability to get the ball up and down the floor fast. Um, um, the best way I can put it is being able to like make the necessary play on behalf of one another, um, whatever that is. Um, been able to find a high hand, like, you know, obviously last game came and shot the ball really well, so it's on us to see those kind of things and, you know, make sure the right person is, you know, get, get what they need. But I thought I'm prepared. Speaking of Caitlin, what was your opinion when you saw the USA team and she wasn't on it? Uh, I don't have an opinion. For you, um, what's it been like going from a player who might have, and it's, it's still these at times, like, you create so much gravity, but then being a player that doesn't, you know, you're like the recipient of the gravity that Caitlin creates or others create. Oh man, I think that's a part of the game. I think it, it, it's, you obviously get the best of both worlds. Um, there's beauty in it. Um, and knowing that you can play with counterparts that can pull just as much. So I think it's a great thing overall. Are you, are you like, dang, like, I'm gonna this in. Whatever grade <laughs> Kinda. Sometimes I find myself up, but I was like, wow, I've never been in open in a long time. So I'll take it. <laughs> Coach, the obvious elephant in the room is the Team USA roster. Caitlin's not on it. What was your reaction when you saw that list come out yesterday? Yeah, you know, a little disappointed, of course. You know, she's my player. Um, you know, that's that's the hardest team in the world to make, right? That is a tough team. She's young. She's going to have so many opportunities in the future. How did you coach her up through that, or did you talk to her at all through that to make it more of a motivating factor than anything? Yeah, we, we talked actually on the bus. Um, she got the call on the bus, and she texted me to let me know, and you know, I just try to keep her spirits. I mean, the thing she said was, hey, coach, they woke a monster, which I thought was awesome. Um, is there any silver lining and, you know, she'll get a little bit of rest, she'll be able to work on some things in this in that three-week break? Yeah, I think that's, that's, that is the silver lining. Like, she is going to get some rest. Looking at the sun, how do you, what do you take from that Mystics game that you can build off of to make sure you can get ahead of the sun early and keep that lead tomorrow? Yeah, you know, I thought our first quarter was really, really good against Washington. I thought we, on both ends, and then we did not continue doing what was, what was successful for us. We have to sustain that success. So, you know, we've just got to make sure we're getting back to transition defense. They do a lot of inverted actions the way they play, which is, different than anything, you know, than the way you normally guard. So had a good opportunity to go through that today. How nice will it be to kind of, since that was the opener, there was so much crazy, media craziness, everything around that game. How nice will it be to go back to Connecticut and have things kind of just be about, hopefully, about basketball? Are we there yet? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we're, we're doing that. Like, our team is doing that. We're making it. Like, we're trying to keep our, our circle tight. We're trying to keep out the noise. You know, but yeah, it's nice to go in, in Connecticut. We played them a couple of times. You know, we were able to do some different things because of what they did to us and what we were able to do to them and, and be successful. So just excited to go back for this next opportunity. What's your number one message heading into that game? We could be physical. I mean, that is one of the most physical teams in the league, and we got to match their physicality. Chris, you mentioned that. Uh, Kaylin they woke a monster. How much more is there to wake up, I guess, with her? And just how do you just appreciate that? Never satisfied mentality from her. Yeah, I don't know, man. That's pretty scary, right? I mean, she's one of the most competitive people I know. 
Um, but I mean, she is, she's a worker and that's what she's going to do. So that's just, you know, this just gave her another opportunity to get to get in the gym and do more work. And, and, and she's also saying, coach, I just want to focus on our team as well. So that, that is really good to hear from her. And you mentioned the rest. How much do you think the mental aspect of it will be great too? Is just, you know, obviously she's going to focus on the game. She's just going to keep working on her game. But just kind of get away from Thank this. If that makes sense. Uh, yeah, no, I think for all of us, okay, you know, just you. what we've all gone through this season so far, I think that's going to be rest for all of us. I think you saw a little bit, you know, in Washington, you know, we, we made more threes. I think it was a franchise record. You know, that's that's your legs finally under you. You know, we're, we're making, we're taking good shots. We just weren't able to finish them. I asked Kelsey about this, but how have you seen her just change her game year after year in this league? I mean, she's a constant pro, but also be effective in like a various different offenses. I mean, Kelsey's so dynamic, right? I mean, she is like one of the most dynamic guards in the league. She can she can get to the rim when she wants to because of her speed. Um, she can just pull up. She can, you know, nail from three. So, I mean, she just keeps getting better at little things all the time. And um, her defense is what she's really wanting to focus on. And she's improved so much in that area.